Alrighty, part four guys, installing all the, the stuff into the forward input drum. So overrun, forward, three, four. So to start off with, first thing, you're gonna put this little guy in there. I already put assembly goo on it. Get it down in there. And I just do that first so I don't forget about it. All right, next. Um, we're going to start with the overruns. Two overruns, small notches go in the uh, small notch holes. Put the overrun. Friction, next. Overrun steel, second overrun friction. And then the overrun backing plate. Uh, just like that. Then you're going to take your sprag assembly, forward input sprag assembly, hold it like that, should rotate clockwise, hold it like that, should rotate counterclockwise. So if you hold it like this and it rotates clockwise, stop, and then it should lock counterclockwise. All right, then you're just going to Set it over the top of that, wait, before you set it over the top, this little Torrington bearing, the legs go down over that, just like that. And you're gonna just jiggle it till you get one in, jiggle it till you get both of them in. start doing the overrun clutches or not overrun the forward clutches so these ones have little notches um, I just it's only this one that has a notch it's another wavy plate it's kind of hard to see on camera but the wavy plates to soften forward engagement um, why I don't know because they have the one two accumulator or the forward accumulator which does that and it's just like double it, but whatever. I'm not an engineer. Engineered. All right. So first, steel four forward. Make sure that the little V notch is in the big opening, so the three four apply fits properly. All right. First over or forward clutch. Second steel. And then next over friction, next steel, next friction, next steel. I did soak all my frictions. Um, these ones are new, so I soaked them from new but the other ones were already in my transmission uh, because there's nothing wrong with them and they all were the right uh, size and everything still same right thickness as what they were to begin with so I didn't, didn't feel the need to replace them uh, so that was the last one it's always gonna end with a friction on the forwards uh, because the backing plate is where it rides. All right, so now that that's in there, let me get the snap ring in. So the snap ring, you're gonna wanna put, you don't wanna have a big part laying over here. You want it to be both ends inside of like the a similar part. So just less chance of breaking. What not so I like to push it down like that and then I like to take my screwdrivers this one I flattened the edge so it wouldn't gouge into anything uh, and I'm just gonna put this one here this one here and go down to get it started 
And then same thing, just go around like that. Hold it down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Hold it down over here, go down, go down, go down, go down, and then go down, and down one last time, and ta-da! It's getting there. Getting there good. All right, next is 3-4 clutch pack. So first one is always this one with the little legs. The legs go down and in the big uh, notches cut out in the drum. Just like that. Well, actually, before I do that, let me show you what I do for my clearances. So, let's find the So since we just put everything in, I'm just gonna spin this, kind of shake it to get everything all perfectly settled. I just wanna push a little bit. And then I got this at 31 thousandths right now. I don't know if it's gonna fit or not. Cause I think it's a little bit tighter on this one. No, 31 is fitting so cool everything's good wipe my fingerprints off of here not that i need to but all right so that's what i do to check my clearance i get it all ready flattened out and then i just check it so forward i since it's always on i don't think clearance is too much of an issue as long as it's not too big uh, but it's not shifting unless you're going from reverse to to drive, which uh, you should just be doing very seldomly. And all right, so now we put the one with the legs right there. And then, since this is a Performa built transmission, I th I think they do some machining to either this plate or the the top plate to be able to fit more clutches in here because uh, usually it's six frictions, but I have eight and it works really good. So first friction and then first steel. So I like to do the notch, just whatever angle I'm looking at it at, I like to do the top right one right here because that gives me where these are supposed to go every time and then it'll be the same so next friction next clut or steel next friction next steel friction Friction. Well, that one came together, so we're doing a steel and a friction at the same time. I'm actually just going to do it like that to finish out because I already had these installed to check my clearances. But I'll show you how to do that again on this one. All right, so got them all in there. Final piece is the backing plate right here. And this is just for clearance issues, or clearance. Just shake them a little bit. So we can put the snap ring in. So now that that's in there, this is 31 thousandths again. And let me uh, there we go. 
What, sweetheart? You're what? She's upset about something. All right, so get that there. Oh, I put this. Did I put it in upside down? I'm pretty sure I put it in upside down. Let me look. Hold on, Lucy. Yeah, I'm done. I think. No, I put it in the right way. I'm being dumb. It's supposed to. Let's put this back in. I checked it earlier, it was 31 thousandths. So I don't know why it's coming up a little higher or a lot tighter right now. So just being a just rotate. Just a sec. Right. Well, that's good. Thirty one thousandths from former built they do it 30,000 so it's pretty darn close to what it was when I bought it same clutches in there so then you take that out and then you put your load springs in well let me take this off load springs load return springs something like that is what they're called cage springs I've heard them called but from my understanding is they are to help prevent centrifugal clutch apply from just spinning at such a high RPM. So, everywhere says do it, put them in. Uh, I've read a lot of forums where people are saying don't put them in, they're a waste, but hey, I've had at one point I had 550 horsepower and like 640 foot pounds of torque behind this transmission and it held up. So I'm sticking to it. Uh, I don't have that much anymore, obviously, because uh, <laughs> reasons that includes money and breaking stuff, but never broke my tranny. So, all right, so for these ones, you want to do the same thing where you get some of the fingers on, ouch, hands are all slippery. the fingers to be covering the ends. You don't want it in the middle like that. All right, so now let's air check this.